We need to get serious in the United States. And if we want to have an economy where everybody's got to be able to earn money in, and we want to have an energy grid that is sustainable, what we can't do are these crazy demands from the Department of Energy and from the EPA. Last thing I'll say is this. If we follow the president's dream and the and the other party's dream of electrifying every car and electrifying every stove, you know what we're going to have? We're going to have an electric grid with not enough energy to turn the lights on. Those are the facts. I this evidence linking gas stove emissions to negative health outcomes, it continues to grow. Gas stoves rely on natural gas or methane as a fuel source, which affects both the climate, uh, which affects the climate both as fossil fuel source and as a greenhouse gas itself. So. Uh, thank you, Chairman. First and foremost, I find it to just be highly disrespectful that um, the Department of Energy was asked to be here. They're not here. They don't want to answer questions about their own rule, which is going to impact uh, the bottom line and the pocketbook of every American, especially those who own gas stoves currently. And, you know, that, I just find that to just be ridiculous. They must be taking a cue from the president who doesn't even want to answer questions, doesn't do press conferences, and just is nowhere to be found. I find that to just really be laughable, to be, to be honest. Uh, secondarily, um, this whole gas stoves thing is, makes no sense. Mr. Stein, I think you were saying in your testimony that roughly only 4% of the current uh, product in the gas stoves market would actually even comply with the EPA's rule. So if you are a homeowner or even a renter and there are gas hookups into the kitchen, what are they supposed to do? Are they now supposed to retrofit their kitchen for an electrical outlet? Because you, it's not a normal outlet with electric stoves. It is a specially designed outlet for the electric stove in the kitchen. So I would ask the Department of Energy, if they were actually here, what do you expect the American people to do with respect to their kitchen? Are they gonna now retrofit their kitchen to allow for an electric hookup to go in there when the house wasn't designed for that? Mr. Delasky, what's the cost on that? Is that in your research? Uh, the, the department has not proposed to ban gas the stoves. The department did not propose a ban of gas stoves, but the department is actually going to regulate the fact that most gas stoves on the market would no longer be able to be sold. They won't be allowed to be sold, only 4%. Do you agree with that, Mr. Delasky? No, I, I've seen this movie before. Where no, no, Mr. Delasky, this is not a claims. movie. This is reality. The claim because is that— Because, Mr. Oh, this, Mr. Delasky, this is reality. Because if you're going to tell, let me, let me bring it to you this way. If you're going to tell my mom that she can't have a gas stove anymore and she can only buy an electric stove, but there's a gas hookup in the kitchen and now the kitchen has to be remodeled and we were renters, we were not owners, which means the landlord had to go and redo that. Do you know what that's going to do to her livelihood? What happens if the, if the, if the, if the landlord says, man, I got to go through these massive retrofits. I'm not paying for that. It falls on the back of the renter, which is what does happen. Does that sound like a movie to you? No, it doesn't. I'm not even asking you a question because this is ridiculous. This is not a movie. This is people's lives. And we have the Department of Energy who doesn't even have the guts, the courage to come in here and answer questions about their proposed rule. They would rather hide in their building down the street than come in here and talk to the American people, talk to the people's representatives. I mean, we do have to fund the Department of Energy. That's coming up in a couple of months. If you can't come, even come in here and answer questions, why would we fund you? And that's serious. I'm not even joking around because this thing is stupid. For black and brown communities, the cost of actually having to go out and buy a new appliance or to retrofit your kitchen is far more dangerous to your bottom line and to your pocketbook. I'm being honest, far more dangerous. I noticed in the ranking member's comments, she never once mentioned what it would cost a black and brown family. She didn't talk about that. All she's talking about is the fact that the entire Green New Deal agenda may, and I stress may, cut one half of a degree in the world's climate by 2050. And I stress may, because there was a representative from the Department of Energy in the Senate a few weeks ago, and he could not even answer the question that came from Senator Kennedy. He didn't know. He had no answer. He was like you, Mr. Delasky, just going back through the, this is not a movie, or whatever the heck you're saying over there. This stuff is dumb. The, the, listen, what we should be doing is a couple of things. Number one, making sure that there is actually cheap 
and readily affordable energy for our businesses and for our people, period, full stop. Two, this notion of chasing down uh, the Green New Deal fantasy, which by the way, half the globe is ignoring, China is not doing this. Russia is not doing this. And the Europeans are backpedaling from this quickly because even the Europeans now understand that they can't live their Green New Deal dreams on gas that they were getting from Russia. They don't get to do that anymore. So now Europe is backpedaling. We need to get serious in the United States. And if we want to have an economy where everybody's got to be able to earn money in and we want to have an energy grid that is sustainable, what we can't do are these crazy demands from the Department of Energy and from the EPA. Last thing I'll say is this. If we follow the president's dream and the, and the other party's dream of electrifying every car and electrifying every stove, you know what we're going to have? We're going to have an electric grid with not enough energy to turn the lights on. Those are the facts. I yield back. St. Louis and I are here today to present the facts about gas stoves and the hazard they pose on our, on our environment and our health. I um, uh, think about my colleague says he likes gas stoves. I like gas stoves. We all like gas stoves. Seat belts work too because there are standards put in place to keep people safe. This is a standard. This is a, uh, we're talking about keeping people safe. And I like people to be alive, not necessarily uh, uh, what looks like um, a way to weaponize um, or to uh, politicize uh, an appliance. Let's keep people safe. So scientific research has proven there is a direct connection between gas stoves and Let's just take childhood asthma, finding that gas stoves are linked to one in eight childhood asthma cases. These findings are especially concerning, considering that asthma disproportionately affects black and brown communities, like whole communities of people, humans. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 13.4% of black children have asthma while only 7.8% of white children have asthma. New mothers heating up bottles or making pancakes could be poisoning their children without their knowledge. We want to keep them safe. This evidence linking gas stove emissions to negative health outcomes, it continues to grow. Gas stoves rely on natural gas or methane as a fuel source, which affects both the climate, uh, which affects the climate both as fossil fuel source and as a greenhouse gas itself. So, Mr. Delasky, how does using nat natural gas as a fuel source contribute to the climate crisis? Burning, burning natural gas in our homes and in our power plants is a significant contributor to climate change emissions um, and it's also a significant contributor to air quality challenges and problems indoors and outdoors. And in making our stoves more efficient would reduce combustion and reduce the emissions coming from our stoves. Okay, Mr. Delasky, uh, would improving the, in the efficiency of gas stoves, would that help reduce the impact on the climate crisis? Absolutely. Improving the efficiency of our gas stoves would help. <laughs> I wholeheartedly agree. Um, a 2022 study by Stanford scientists found that annual methane emissions from all gas stoves in the United States um, in those homes, our homes, have a climate impact comparable to the annual carbon dioxide emissions of 500,000 cars, with more than three quarters of methane emissions originating while the gas stoves were not even in use. So Mr. Delasky, what actions can manufacturers, can consumers and regulators take to prevent the vast amounts of methane leakage from gas stoves? One of the steps that we can take is for the Department of Energy to set the first ever efficiency standards for gas stoves. We now, for the first time, have a way of measuring relative efficiency and to ask manufacturers to make the investments to make their gas stoves that they sell more energy efficient, reducing their emissions. Uh, one more question for you. What pollutants do gas stoves emit that are so harmful to human respiratory systems? 
Um, I'm not an expert in the various emissions that are coming out of gas stoves. There, I would point you to comments filed by the American Lung Association, as well as a number of nurses' organizations and other public health advocates to the Department of Energy um, in the gas stove docket, where they lay out some of the problems for indoor air quality and for ambient air quality. Um, they're the experts, and I point you to that American Lung Association. They support the gas stove standard and are, are vocally uh, supporting it. Well, I'll just add, like, nitrogen dioxide, which is known to irritate the human respiratory system. Um, and as a nurse, I've seen it all too often, um, the effects. Um, further research we know is warranted. In the meantime, experts suggest several actions businesses and families can take to reduce the health risks associated with gas stoves. These include opening a window, using an exhaust hood, installing carbon monoxide detectors, and making the transition to electric stoves. Everyone should have the necessary information about their household goods to determine what is best for them, particularly their stoves. Thank you, and I yield back. Thank you. Chair recognizes my good friend and colleague from Florida, Mr.